Hey guys, welcome this episode, <clears throat> this clip, this vlog, whatever this is. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on life. It's been a while. I think the last video that I uploaded was maybe three, four months ago. But yeah, I mean, I think the last time I spoke to you guys, it was about, you know, the pandemic and how life has changed and how people are, you know, getting crazier. <laughs> no, but um you know the pandemic changed you know changes some things but i'm happy now that things are back to normal ish but yeah so i'm just happy that i can be more consistent with these videos but anyway this video i'm going to be talking about little nas x one of his music i think it's called tales of dominica So we know Little Nas X. If you don't know who Little Nas X is, um, which is fine, you're probably not, you know, you're probably your age. It's probably, <laughs> you're probably older and you're not in that culture. I was driving and I was listening to this song and I started crying, you know? I started crying. I don't know why. The lyrics of this song just touched me so deep. And I think it's the part where it says, I've been living in my lowest, it's safe to say, hope my little bit of dope, hope my little bit of hope, don't fade away. I've been living on an island made from faith. Can't go running back to home, I can't face her face. So I'm not gonna go too deep in why that I resonate with that, but I think with me and my background, um, you know, I can't face her face, you know, I think it, you know, resembles, resembles. <laughs> um, I think, it, you know, it can mean, it can point to, you know, my mom or my family members, or, you know, when you're trying to set an expectation or, you know, you know, you know, prove your, to respect you know your family members your parents and then once you do not you know you choose your own path or you're trying to figure out life um and then it's hard to you know show your face but to them um, life is very mysterious in ways and when we choose to go on our own journey you know it's scary because if, if i choose this path you know, I can't go running back home. <sighs> Whether that be, you know, not living up to their expectations or not having the spirit or not having the heart to show my face to, to that person. But I think, yeah, I really like this song and um, I listen to it almost all the time this is probably a really short video but i'm gonna be making more videos about different things i think um i wanted to talk or touch about travis scott's concert um all prayers or just you know heartfelt words and expression to all the family members who lost a loved one on in the concert it's really sad what happened um it's really sad um you know i saw some pictures i saw some i saw some videos of what happened and it's it was very crowded over there i myself personally do not like you know to be clustered or to be in that space where i don't don't have space to breathe i do not have space to stretch my arms i hate 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 close um areas so 
every time I've you know been to a concert, I would either be on the balcony, I would either be all the way in the back where the exit is, where the exit is, where the door is. <laughs> um, sometimes if I were to go all the way in the front of the stage, like near the stage, it would have to be, I, I can easily maneuver, but um, back to your serious note. Yeah, Travis Scott, you know, he probably feels so bad. The only thing though I wanted to point out is when people are saying, oh my gosh, you know, this Kylie Jenner or Travis Scott, they're not, um, you know, paying respect or like, what are they supposed to do? Like, they're not responsible for your child. Travis Scott is not responsible for every person there. That person, if you're 14 year old, if you let your, if you let your 13 year old daughter or son go to a concert, first of all, that's on you. You're their parent, so you're supposed to make sure that the, your son is your son or daughter is safe, that they're not intoxicated or whatever it may be maybe a guardian needs to be with them but Travis Scott is not responsible for your child so I just want to put out that out there because people their comments it seems like they think that these celebrities care about their, the child and the fans even though yes Travis Scott might say oh my gosh I love you fans I love you he loves the money okay no actually let me stop he might love the culture you know love the fans he might not even he doesn't have he doesn't even have to call you guys fans call you guys listeners you guys listen to his music but if you die like that's on you but anyway be safe out there you guys when you go to this concert it seems like more people more people are dying there's bombs just suicide just be careful i hope you know that he pays more attention to you know, organizing his concerts and trying to, you know, maybe allowing less um, less people to be in his concerts or, um, you know, being more careful in the amount of people that are in one area. Because he has a lot of fans. He has a lot of, you know, people who listen to his music, especially if he's, you know, Kylie Jenner's partner definitely gonna have a following there but yeah so thank you guys for watching um i hope you know what do i what do i hope i hope that i consistent with these videos that i sh that i um you know enjoy doing this enjoy doing these things it's all about positivity here being optimistic learning about myself learning about the world and so on so thank you for keeping up with the kardashians <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>